now we have the Mad Ball 2 on the bench and I'm going for a little upgrade. I am going to fit the DTO3 uh, stabilizer set front and rear. Comes in a nice little packet. Um, comes with comes with two different colour bars. Some ball ends. And a pack of hardware. Now I cut down the bull ends to roughly, well remove 6mm. They're not easy but they are the same length. Um, the front bar is pretty flat. The rear is different but we're not doing the rear at the sec so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to fit this collar on first it says in the middle. I think that's just about in the middle and then we've got to fit these two ball ends on I've already added the grub screw and it says one millimeter below so all we can think is push it to the end and just take it back a, a fraction so it just takes it under and that'll be roughly a millimeter we'll do the same with this one to the end and slightly under slightly under now from experience getting something onto these can be a pain so I think it might be better to fit them now I'll take a chance I'm not too bad There we go, like so. Now we've got to fit these two uh, balls to the inside here. So these can be fitted with the suspension on. Because they say I'll oh, remove all the wishbones and the pins and all that. I might remove. Get that in a sec. Get another one. I might remove the um, end pins, but that'd be probably about it. I can't see the point in removing any more. There we go, so we've added the the balls and then I'm gonna just take the end lower pin out lower pin out this upper here but is the lower and that'll release the suspension. And then four screws out the bumper. See, it's completely 
all loose and then carefully guide this into place because it can only go in one spot on the front and what you need to do is get it behind the shock absorbers and let's get these screws out of the button bumper and I'll show you see it just fits in the middle and you can see that see that little collar thing and I'm going to put the bumper back on and that must hold it roughly into place and like I said they show it taking the shock absorbers off no we haven't had to do that you know you can sometimes like I said you can work something out and take a lot less off And then, like I said, they say put those little black pieces on from behind. All connectors. No, we don't do that. Because they're already through and behind. In place on the bar. That's why, like I said, I clipped them first. Let's make sure this is done up. And then, you just have to swing the bowl. So you upwards, and it should be on. There's one, and there's the other one. A bit fiddly, and then all you've got to do is put the single pin we took out. And screw it back into place and see that we've done it correct. And I would think so. And then we'll flip it. And there you can see the torsion bars underneath. And it's as simple as that. Now the rear one, the prep is easier, is just add those two ball ends and just wind together the longer grub screws and these two bits till there's a gap, about one millimetre. Um, then disconnect your motor, undo two screws on the side and the four underneath and pop the motor off like so. And then to get this bar in, we've literally got to take the rear shock tower off. Definitely a lot trickier, there is no quicker way I can see. Um, The only cheat is maybe not take the shock bottoms off. Might be able to get away with that. And then working out where this goes. Is the thing. See on the front there was a definite place or definite place to place it. On the rear I can't see anything. That's strange. And I've done it correctly. So if you look, all it shows is to the bottom, I think, below the lower screw. Right, let's take the bar. Has to be that orientation up. Okay. 
And it's definitely what it's saying. And it has to go above the drive shafts. See, so when it goes in, you go above drive shafts and into just below. Oh, and there is, if you can just about see it, there's a groove on the lower part. That goes over to hold it. So there is something to line up. Now we get the four screws back in. Yeah, the rear one, I have to admit, is more of a pain. There you go, you can see it inside. From this side we've now got the two things and these should hold it away from the drive shaft. Yeah, and they will. So I'll do the top one first and then pop it on the bottom. Yeah, and it keeps it completely away at that angle from the drive shaft. Repeat for the other side. Sorry, I can't really do it in view, but I've got to squash them on. See, now the bottom one, and that's what you should end up with. And then check it, it doesn't touch anything. But these torsion bars, what it does is when it pushes down on one side, it pushes on the other a bit. But that is the heavy ones on, so all I've got to do now is just put it back together.